I'm Ms. Artastic and welcome back to the Ms. Artastic YouTube channel. You might have noticed that I've been doing a whole lot of Christmas videos, um, kind of like a little bit of a Christmas special. So join me, I still have this video to do and we have one more fantastic Christmas episode coming out next week where we're going to be drawing Santa right before Christmas. So make sure you hit that subscribe button. I know you want to. So make sure you grab it and uh, join me next week as well because we got so many um, Christmas drawings to do. And if you missed the previous episodes, check out my channel. I got a candy cane there. We got some holly. We got a kind of a melty snowman, perfect for winter. So check them out. Anyway, in this episode, we're going to be drawing this lovely, rather cute elf. So grab your favorite art making mediums, my friend. And. Let's make some Christmas art. All right, we're gonna begin our elf drawing. I'm just gonna do a portrait of an elf. So we're gonna start off with one curving line down and two curving lines in for a brim of an elf hat. Connect those lines with another curving line. On the left side, we're going to do one sort of straight, slightly curved line up. We're going to draw from that one another line up to make sort of a letter Y here. From over here, on the right side of this hat, we're going to do a straight line up and then down towards that end of that Y. And I'm gonna thicken up those lines to make them bold and beautiful. I'm gonna add a nice circle at the end of the hat. And I'm also gonna add a pattern on that pom-pom. I'm gonna do stripes, but you can feel free to do whatever you would like. I'm also gonna add some stripes with some thinner lines on the hat so that I can color in like a pattern later. All right, next I'm gonna draw, I'm gonna leave like a thumb space between my hat and the face. So I'm gonna draw two dots where that face is gonna start. Again, we're leaving a thumb space. I'm gonna connect those two dots with a sort of rounded square bottom. I'm gonna draw two more dots. Again, leaving a thumb space, just like that. And from those dots, we're gonna draw curving lines up. And we're gonna bring them back down, add a little U shape at the bottom and connect them to that head for some elf ears. And a curving line at the top and around the side and bottom of those ears and we'll add a little letter C shape in the inside of the ears to make some elf ear shapes. Next, you can go ahead and add whatever style hair you would like to your elf. Hair comes in lots of different styles and textures. So go ahead and add whatever length of hair you want, style of hair you want, whatever you would like, you add your own style of elf hair. Just below the head, I'm gonna draw a U shape. And I'm gonna add a glare of light on there by adding a curving triangle. I'm also gonna draw two lines down from the head, curve them up to that circle to add the collar. And I'm gonna add the shoulders sort of going off the page at the bottom there. My elf, of course, is on an angle. So you're gonna see one side more than the other. And I'll add the two lines down to indicate arms. You can even have some buttons that are going off the page. Boom, all right, face time. In the center of your face, add a little curving line for a nose. On either side of that nose and on either side of the face, we're gonna do one big circle right close to the edge of the face. We don't wanna put it in the center. We wanna pull those big circles right to the edge. In each circle, we're gonna draw one big circle and we're gonna draw two small circles. 
ahead and go ahead and color in the eyes, leaving just them circles nice and white. Perfect. Between the eyes, just below them and below that nose, draw a straight line across. Connect it with a curving line. Then from one side down to the bottom, we're gonna draw another curving line for the tongue and color in the dark of your mouth. Perfect. And just like that, we've drawn our lovely elf. All right, you can go ahead and color in in your choice of colors. It's up to you on what colors you'd like to use. I'm going to do some elf or Christmas colors, but if you don't like the colors I use, feel free to use whatever colors you would like, as well as your choice of art making mediums. I'm gonna be coloring the hat, well, most of the hat anyway, with my green, and I'm gonna be doing red and white stripes to sort of bring in some Christmas vibes. I'm also gonna use the same green on the jacket it's wearing. I've left some white intentionally for some highlights. I'm going to color in the collar yellow. I'm getting some white for highlights. And I'm gonna color in those buttons yellow as well. I'm gonna grab my red. And I'm going to color in Every second stripe red to add some holiday flavor onto my elf. You can use, again, the same colors that I'm using or feel free to use your own colors. I'm also going to use this red on the tongue, just like that. You can go ahead and color in your elf with any sort of skin color you would like to use. Elves are always, of course, extra excited for Christmas. So we want to make sure we have lots of Christmas cheer coming off our papers. You can also give your elf any choice hair color. I'm going to use this blue and I'm going to go and take my blue and go along the edges of the white in the eyes with the blue, just to add a little bit more color to the face. And now we're ready to shade. And of course, we're gonna grab a gray felt marker or your choice of art making medium. It could be a felt marker, it could be a wax crayon, it could be a black pencil crayon, you just color lightly. Whatever you have, you use what you got. I'm going to shade the inside of the ears here first, where there is darkness. Shade around the eyes. Underneath the mouth and around the nose. You can shade underneath the hat where it overlaps the hair and underneath the hair on the forehead as well, where it's casting a shadow. I like to shade underneath the face onto the clothes and around the collar as well.
shade the folds of that and the bottom of the pom-pom. Once you're done, your lovely elf drawing for Christmas is done. I'm Ms. Cassie, and I just want to say thank you so much for drawing with me in this drawing episode. Make sure that you subscribe to this channel and like the video, and tell me all your questions and comments in the comments section below the video. If you're a teacher or a homeschool parent and you're looking for 30 complete art projects ready to go for your classroom or at your homeschool program, check out my course 30 um, art lessons for kids called Making Art with Kids. 30 art lessons that are perfectly designed and ready to go to play at home or in your classroom, complete with video art tutorials, rubrics, assessments, all your step-by-step -step worksheets. It's fully planned and ready to go. And they're all art lessons that are designed around your students' interests or your kids' interests, all designed to engage kids with both the art mediums and the themes of the art projects. So check out my course, Making Art with Kids. Again, 30 complete art lessons ready to go to use as your curriculum for art in your classroom or at home in your homeschool program. The link for making art with kids can be found in the description of this video, so check it out now, and let's make some art.